I really fucked up this morning. And yesterday, everything was looking great. The dough was coming together, 80% hydration, perfect dough. And well, then this happened. I woke up and I tried to stretch and fold the dough, but it's just a complete sticky mess. The whole gluten network broke down and I can't even touch it with my hands anymore. Yesterday everything was perfect, but, but today it's just such a mess. Now I've been there before and I just wanted to show you a quick trick how we can save the super super sticky dough. Don't even bother about shaping it, it's not going to work. You'll be saving it instead with, are you ready? A loaf pan. But that's typically what I do when I fail at shaping. I just toss my dough into a loaf pan. But still, there's gonna be a couple of issues because the gluten network is not there anymore. So our dough is likely not going to expand that much in the oven. But still, better than nothing. And this is a really easy way to save it. So let me show you, bear with me, and then let's have a look at the final results. I think I saved the dough for now, but now why did this happen and what did I learn from this? It was already very late with proofing times, bulk fermentation times, I was just way off. So I opted for using more sour dough and then I also placed the whole container inside of the oven with oven light on overnight. And yes, so it has been bulk fermenting at probably 40 degrees with just the oven light on. So that was definitely too much for that period. So basically my dough was too sour. If your dough is too sour, then at some point it becomes so sour that the lactic acid will start damaging your gluten structure instead of your dough. So if you bulk ferment for too long, or you have a too sour starter, you might want to look at changing your feeding schedule, for instance, maybe instead of feeding one parts, one parts, one parts feed, one to two to two or one to five to five or so and furthermore try reducing your bulk fermentation times just a little bit i always like to just take another jar here and then i uh, place a small chunk of the dough inside i mark this and then i can see exactly when the bulk fermentation is done but yeah in this case it was definitely too sour and then as you saw this morning when i when i tried to stretch and fold it i was dying so um, I hope you learned something from my mistakes and uh, I definitely learned something. So um, let's just hope that this is gonna be turning into a nice looking sandwich loaf at least. Probably it's gonna be looking like a brick. Mm. I'm sure taste wise it's going to be amazing, but from a visual perspective, yeah, <laughs> not the loaf that I'm most uh, proud of. So bear with me, we will let this proof now for another two hours and then I'll be putting this right into the oven. And uh, let's see. 
We want to make sure that we have enough steam. One of my loaf pan has a lid. Excellent. The other loaf pan I just close with another loaf pan. You could also just use some tin foil. This makes sure we have enough steam. After half time, we want to be removing the source of steam. In this case, the lid. Oops! I did. What did I do there? I failed. <laughs> And now for the loaf pan with the lid, let's also remove the lid. We will be baking this again for another 20 minutes or so and then let's have a look at the temperature. This is really the easiest way to check whether your dough is ready. The moment it has around 95 degrees Celsius, it's ready. This is especially of a hassle if your loaf pan is slightly larger. That's why you can't really rely on times in a recipe. Sure, it could be golden and dark from the top, but that's not really always the same. It could depend on how close your bread is baking to your broilers. So in this case, let's have a look at this loaf pan and you will see it's... Oh no, you won't see. <laughs> ah, now you see. It's still at around 84 degrees Celsius. So this one is definitely not ready. I guess it's going to take another 10 minutes or so. So let's put this back into the oven. And here we go. And this has been around 20 minutes actually. So after 20 minutes, let's check the temperature again. 90 something degrees Celsius, I guess. Yeah, it's looking good. So this one is ready as well. And now this is always the moment of truth. If we can flip it, if it falls out, then we use enough oil in the loaf pan. So let's double check that. And I'm hoping this is going to fall out and uh, a beautiful brick. <laughs> But I am happy that I was able to save the dough. And here we go with the final bread. Looking nice, super soft, and also a great rustic looking crust. So just summing everything up, if you bulk ferment for too long, or if it's too warm, or if your starter starter has too much acid, then it could be that this happens to your dough. Don't give up, use your loaf pan to rescue your dough, and next time just reduce the bulk fermentation or the temperature a little bit. Thanks for watching.